Oh, eight seven oh four twenty 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 is the number. Adam is. Well, I'm not sure where you are, Adam. Where are you? Hello. Um, in Tyneside, Adam. In Tyneside, all oh, right. Good morning. Hello, right, hi. Nice to meet you. Um, right, I, I just call you. If, if, I, I can speak about many of the points you just said, but I'm, I want to get things in quickly because I know you've probably got lots of other callers. We are um, overwhelmed. Right, well, <laughs> okay. Um, I just like um, a, few, a few types of evidence um, of God's existence through the fact that, um, that the Bible, well, I'm Jewish, basically. It says the Torah could not have been written um, by a human being because there's no, it's not humanly possible for a human being to make such such predictions and such um, statements. I'll right. give you a few examples. It says um, in the Bible that, that um, for a fish to be kosher, it has to have two qualities. It has to have fins and scales, right? And we have in our tradition that if it's got um, scales, it definitely has fins. So what we have to look for is the scales. But in our tradition, it says any fish which only ha um, there is not a single fish in the universe which has scales and no fins. Right? Now, how is it possible? I'm sorry, I'm this, is, this is fascinating, but it doesn't mean a thing to me. Well, let, let me explain to you. Uh, if, if, if it was a person, there's only two options. Who could have written the Bible, right? It could have been God or it could have been people. I mean... Yeah. Well, like discounting aliens, you know, things like that. <laughs> but, Why discount uh, aliens? Well, you believe okay. in God, you surely believe in aliens. All right, I think we've got a bit more evidence of a God than aliens. Oh, I, I would, I would say quite the reverse, but still. All right, okay, well, okay, it, it, aliens is a new thing. Okay, but let's, all right, let's stick to, to the God and the, all right, let's, we'll bring aliens in later if you want. Yeah, please, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Right, either there's going to be um, God or humans. A human cannot predict... It, all the species which were only discovered through deep sea diving and stuff like that at the bottom of the ocean, there's no way any humans could have gone there, especially like, if it was written So the Bible, be, the Bible predicted the existence of creatures that we've only just discovered? Right, well, yes, well, that's but, what you're saying, but, is but it? Basically, it's telling us qualities of... No, no, I'm asking you a simple question. Does the Bible predict the existence of creatures which have yet to be discovered? Yes, basically. Thank you. Go on. Right, right um, can I give a couple more? Well, okay. yes, yes, I mean, it's... Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Okay. Right, there's also, um, there's four not, um, animals, right, for, to, for an animal to be kosher, it has to have split hooves and chew the cut. And we have a tradition that there's only four animals in the universe, right, well, the world, which only have one of the two signs. That's a, a pig has split hooves and doesn't chew the cut, right? Right, and that's the only one which has split hooves which doesn't chew, that doesn't chew the cut. Any animal besides a pig which has split hooves We'll, we'll definitely choose the card, uh, and there's no way a human could have known about that because you've got all different Australia and America, all the different animals there. Yeah. Which, uh, uh, and anyway, it would be stupid for why do they put it in the Bible in the first place? Why make a stupid prediction like that? Can, can, can I just show you how serious it is? No, it, it does. It, I mean, that's got me. I'm, 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 I can't sleep. Thank you very much. Um, well, I bless myself. Well, that's blown my arguments right out of that. I, I now must believe in God because it's been proven to me that pigs have split hooves and don't chew the cud. I knew that. This is Talk Sport. <laughs>